okay so it will be 2 in uh, 4 into 2 plus 3 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 1 into 1 it will be 1 actually this is 1 1 into 1 so 8 plus 3 11 plus 4 15 plus 1 that is 16 same way we will go for z2 z2 is equals to k is equal to 0 to 3 x k y of minus k plus 2 so the same way first we will draw the x k it is 2 1 2 1 This is y of minus k plus 2. That means again we have to shift y of minus k plus 1 already being shifted. Now we will shift y of minus k plus 1 by again 1 we will it in the clockwise direction. That means so this 1 will shift over here. This 2 will shift over here. This 3 will shift over here. And finally this 4 will shift over here. So it will be uh, 3 into 2. 3 into 2 plus 2 into 1 plus 1 into 2 1 into 2 plus 4 into 1 4 into 1 so it will be 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 that is 10 plus 4 that is 14 same way let us find z3 z3 equals to summation k is equal to 0 to 3 x k y of minus k plus 3 so again we have to draw circles 2 which is 1 2 what the inner circle this is y of minus k plus 3 that means again we have to shift y of minus k plus 2 by 1 unit in the clockwise direction so 4 will become here 1 1 will go to this position 2 will come to this position 3 will come to this position so it will be 2 into 2 2 into 2 plus 1 into 1 1 into 1 plus 4 into 2 4 into 2 plus 3 into 1 3 into 1 so we get 4 plus 1 plus 8 plus 3 that is it's 11 11 and 15 and 16 so you can say your z in z in is equals to z0 z1 z2 z3 that means 14 16 14 16 this is my z in so this is the process called concentric circle method for circular configuration so what you will do is you have to take the two sequences which should be absolutely periodic maybe of the same length or maybe not if they are not of the same length then you have to make it same by appending zero at the end of the sh shorter sequence okay next is we are taking here a circle and we are putting the samples at equal distance of the uh, circumference of the circle in the anti-clockwise manner so let us start from here you can start from anywhere else no problem so x0 x1 x2 x3 again same way we take another circle that is yn or yk because as per the formula we have shifted the sequence i mean the index from xn to xk and y to yk so we are naming it yk yk is y0 y1 y2 and y3 same anti-clockwise direction now here what the formula says that zn is equal to xn circular convolution yn and if you break it it is xk y of n minus k n that was actually it should have to be x k circular convolution y k okay so here and y of n minus k 
here we are using capital n so this capital n because of this the we are using here actually the modulo arithmetic or modulo n or capital n operation now beyond here we are saying that we have two methods concentric circle method matrix multiplication method to find out circular convolution but we can also use this formula to find the circular convolution so while we using this formula to find the circular convolution there we will discuss that what is the meaning of this term y n minus k in the suffix capital n so here we will use the modular arithmetic to do it then we will discuss in details okay so for the time being just think as a formula okay now so we require actually here y of minus k so what we are doing here we are this is yk we are just flipping it like this just a flip so it becomes y of it becomes y of minus k so see if when I'm flipping it y0 and y3 this position should remain as it is only initially y3 was in the below and y1 was at the top this positions interchange so now y3 is in the top and y1 is in the bottom and capital N is 4 we all know so what we'll do is now so as per the formula say capital N is 4 so the output both of the sequence xk and yk or xn and yn are of same sequences that is capital N is 4 so obviously the output will also have a uh, periodic sequence with capital N4, the period will be 4. So obviously the output will be Z0, Z1, Z2 and Z3. So we just put the values in this expression. So the first one is Z, Z0 is equal to K is equal to 0 to N minus 1. N is 4, so it is 3 XK Y of minus K because small n is 0. So it actually we are simply multiplying xk with y of minus k so we put the outer circle that is xk and another concentric circle which is of the uh, uh, lesser uh, radius we put it here that is y of minus k so this is 1 3 4 2 is the sample values 2 1 2 1 these are the sample values so we will simply multiply and add it so 1 into 2 plus 4 into 1 plus 3 into 2 plus 2 into 1 so we get this one we get 14 now the next is xz1 z1 means xk multiplied with y of minus k plus 1 that means this one is y of minus k so if you rotate in this direction so it will become y of minus k plus 1 just one unit so this 2 this two comes here this 3 comes here this 4 comes here and finally this 1 comes here okay but the outer circle will remain as it is because it is xk it has no change so xk and multiplying with y of minus k plus 1 this is actually y of let's say minus k plus 1 this is y of minus k so if you multiply y of minus k and xk you get this one the value is 16 same way we calculate z2 this is y of minus k plus 2 that means if you rotate y of minus k plus 1 by one unit in the clockwise direction you will get this one and xk will remain as it is so you get z2 14 same way this is y of minus k plus 3 y of minus k plus 3 the inner circle and the outer circle is xk so xk multiplied with y of minus k plus 3 2 into 2, 2, 1 into 1, 1, 4 into 2, plus 3 into 1. So it's 16. So we get the, all the values of Z0, Z1, Z2, and Z3. We put it here. This is our circular convolution using the concentric circle method. Okay. Now, the second process is called the matrix multiplication method and is very simple, very easy to understand and very time laser time consuming also let us see this is you can say it is matrix matrix multiplication matrix multiplication method matrix multiplication method this is called matrix multiplication method now, 
Yeah, say again we will take the same example of x n equals to 2 1 2 1 n equals to 4 and y n equals to 1 2 3 4 n equals to 4 same now X, we have to multiply simple we will simple multiply xn with yn to get zn now we will first write xn in this form 2 1 2 1 our object as capital n is equal to 4 our objective is to get a 4 by 4 matrix how that is special let, let us discuss that one so we will first write the matrix in this form the samples in this form 2 1 2 1 okay say it's a matrix form now what we will do is we will shift the entire thing one unit at the bottom say it will be 2 1 2 I am supposed to write 1 over here now this one instead of writing over here I will put over here this is very important to understand. Listen very carefully. First, I will write the samples like this. 2, 1, 2, 1 is my sample of x I am writing like this in a column. 2, 1, 2, 1. Okay. I am arranging my samples in a column. 2, 1, 2, 1. Now, we have to design as capital is equal to 4. We have to design a 4 by 4 matrix. So, what we will do? We will, this 2, 1, 2, 1, we will shift in the next column by one unit so these two comes over here this one comes over here this two comes over here and this one goes to here so two one two one it shift by one unit here and the bottom one goes up so it becomes now one two one two so same way this one two one two will again shift like this one two one now this two will come over here it becomes now again 2 1 2 1 okay again in the next step this 2 1 2 1 will shift here so it becomes 2 1 2 and this one will come upward it becomes 1 2 1 2 so it is actually 2 1 2 1 1 2 1 2 2 1 2 1 1 2 1 2 it's a 4 cross 4 matrix so this matrix, this you have to multiply with 1, 2, 3, 4 to get our Zn. So very simple. If you multiply, what you will get? 2 into 1, 2 plus 1 into 2, 2 plus 2 into 3 6 plus 1 into 4 4 next is 1 into 1 1 plus 2 into 2 2 uh, 2 into 2 that is sorry 4 plus 1 into 3 3 plus 2 into 4 that is 8 next is 2 into 1, 2, plus 1 into 2, 2, plus 2 into 3, 6, plus 1 into 4, 4. Next is 1, plus 4, plus 3, plus 8. So it becomes actually uh, 14, 16, again 14, and last one is 16. 14, 16, 14, 16. So, this is the matrix or matrix multiplication method is the most easier one. See, 14, 16, 14, 16. If you see the earlier example, same new problem we discussed that is 14, 16, 14, 16. So, these are the two methods. These are the two methods basically used here. Now, in the earlier example, in the earlier 
case we have discussed here that if x n generates x k y n generates y k and if x k multiplied with y k gives z k then what is the relation between x n y n and z n then we have said that z n is the circular convolution of x n and y n let us see that let us see So let us take the same example. X n is two one two one, and y n is one two three four. So let us find x k and y k. Uh, let us take x n that is equals to two one two one. Y n is also same that is one two three four. Now my our objective is to get x k and y k. So uh, we have to use DFT. So the easiest form of DFT we have discussed that is the matrix method. That means using the two deal matrix. So here capital in both case capital N is equal to four. So the two deal matrix will be. If you recap the uh, last class, you will see. How to get this two deal matrix? One, 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 one. Minus J, minus one, J. This is minus one, one, minus one, J, minus one, minus J. So this is my two deal matrix. And using this two deal matrix, we will find out x k and y k. Uh, by the way, this x k means this x k and y k is the capital x k and capital y k. Don't mix it with the earlier case. Here, here, remember this x k and y k is small x k and y k. That means the discrete sequence in time domain only we have changed the index. X K and Y K K is small letter in both cases. Okay, but here of the DFT output, the DFT output here it is X K means capital X K and capital Y K. So capital X K capital Y K shows that it is the DFT of X N and Y N. Okay, so this is the two deal matrix for capital N is equal to four. It's also a four by four matrix. If you uh, go through the Class note of the earlier lecture, you will know how to find out the two deal matrix for n is equal to four or n is equal to eight or any value of capital N. Okay. Now, what we will do is simple multiply the two deal matrix. Suppose we have to find out x k. We will simple multiply w with our x n. So I am not writing uh, this uh, w again. This w means this matrix. The matrix W and this X N. So if you multiply, you will get the output is six zero two zero. Same way, if you multiply Y K with W and Y N. You will get ten minus two plus j two minus two minus two minus j two. Here I am doing the shortcut, but you have but you practice it out. W means the studial matrix and Y N means the sequence in the column form. When you write in the matrix form, actually. So this is our x k. This is my y k. So you can say z k is equal to x k capital x k dot capital y k. So it will be if you multiply x k, uh, sorry x k and y k, you will get the matrix or the sequence sixty zero minus four zero. Okay, 
Now, if you have to perform the inverse DFT, this is my ZK. So, inverse perform the inverse D, uh, DFT of ZK. The formula is ZN equals to inverse W ZK. Inverse W is 1 by 4. This is capital N. If you, have to, if you remember the formula, it is 1 by capital N. The transpose 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, J minus 1, minus J minus 1, 1, minus 1, minus J minus 1. J J one minus one one minus one one J minus Z K Z K is sixty zero minus four zero. So if you do it, you will get the output is fourteen sixteen fourteen sixteen. Hence proves the relation between xn, yn and zn. So I think this is all for this today's lecture. Uh, in the test, online test, I will give you some numericals on uh, DFT and circular convolution. Please go through the earlier class of DFT also. DFT and circular convolution, both numericals I will give. So I will give that in the Google Classroom, okay? Best of luck, guys.